They're both global security legends, but when it comes to keeping your devices safe, which one really delivers? On the left, Kaspersky, comprehensive security, trusted worldwide. And on the right, ESET, proactive antivirus, built for power users and privacy. Let's skip the buzzwords and get straight to what matters most. Each category gets a score, and by the end, you'll know exactly which one comes out on top. The result just might surprise you. Now, to keep this fair and super organized, here's how we're comparing them. We'll look at malware protection, system performance, features and tools, pricing, and, of course, user experience. Stick around. Some of these results might surprise you. Diving right in with malware protection. Because, let's face it, if an antivirus can't do this, what are we even doing here? Starting with Kaspersky, oh man, the numbers are wild. Like, it basically grabs a 99.9% .9 detection rate in real-world tests. Ransomware? Banking Trojans? Handled. You're set for both regular sketchy downloads and that urgent online bank transfer at midnight. Only gripe? There can be a tiny bump in system resources, even when you're not doing anything. Now, ESET isn't slacking either. It's holding strong, up to 99.3% in recent tests. Where ESET really flexes is its behavioral analysis. It's like, hey, even if I've never seen this malware before, I'm on to you. The one weird thing, though, ESET skips some independent lab tests, so you don't always see the full picture. Still, both are top contenders, but Kaspersky edges it out for consistent, world-class protection. Next up, system performance. Does your antivirus slow you down when you just want to game, binge, or work? Kaspersky is actually really, really fast during everyday stuff. You probably won't even notice it. But, and here's the catch, if you leave your computer idle, it sips just a smidge more CPU than you might expect. Now, ESET cranks things up in the performance department. Fewer resources used, especially during those long, full system scans. Scans zip by fast, which is nice. But uh, no quick scan. Like, why? So for daily speed, it's almost a dead heat. They both do great, so I'm calling this one a tie. Now, let's geek out over features and tools. Kaspersky's lineup is stacked. You get banking protection, ransomware shields, backups to the cloud, password manager, and even parental controls if you're sharing with family. Okay, missing a couple of things. No file shredder. And if you want strong file encryption, you'll need to look elsewhere. Okay, on to ESET. This is where it really shines if you're like an advanced user. There's file shredding, powerful data encryption, and it even checks your Wi-Fi and smart home security. It's aimed at people who are into privacy or run a small business. The downside? You don't get a VPN bundled, and the interface can look intimidating if you just want to set and forget. Still, ESET is flexing harder on features for power users and businesses, so it takes this round. Oh, and uh, here's something cool. Did you know both Kaspersky and ESET hit 100% detection rates against brand new, never seen before malware samples in the latest independent tests. That's not just good, it's as close to perfect as you can get. All right, let's talk price, because honestly, who doesn't want to save some cash? Kaspersky offers seriously low entry pricing, sometimes as low as $250 a month if you find the right deal. There's a catch. Those sneaky renewal rates could go up after your first term, so just watch out. What about ESET? It's a little pricier out of the gate, around five bucks monthly, even with promos. But those discounts can be pretty generous. Still, compared head-to-head, -head, if you want the best value up front, Kaspersky is usually the better pick. Finally, let's talk about actually using this stuff day-to-day. -day. Kaspersky is clean and simple. The whole vibe is trustworthy and familiar, especially if you do a lot of online banking. If you're running an older PC, though, just a heads up, the resource use can creep up. With ESET, this is cool. Real users absolutely love it for satisfaction and support. Customer service is like next level helpful. Only thing, new users might feel lost with all the advanced settings. So if you want a tool that's super helpful and has your back, ESET's got the edge here. So quick recap across all categories. We got Kaspersky bringing it home with better malware protection and cheaper pricing, while ESET flexes with features and tools and user experience. System performance, they're neck and neck. So what do I actually think? If you just want legendary protection and the best entry price, Kaspersky is a no-brainer, especially for families or anyone doing a lot of banking. But if you're like the power user type, really into privacy, 
or run a small business and want more control over every setting, ESET is seriously worth a look. Either way, you're getting top-notch protection. It just depends on what matters more for your setup. Want more matchups like this? Go hit that subscribe button and stay one step ahead on digital security in 2025. See you in the next one.